in the history of the golden age of bodybuilding. There have been a select few whose arms have stood out as truly phenomenal. A result of genetic gifts that set them apart from the rest. They are not just bodybuilders. They are genetic marvels. Blessed with arms that are indeed in a league of their own. Please welcome one of the best and most impressive. As they step onto the stage, their arms command attention. With their sheer size and definition, each vein, each sinew spoke volumes of their dedication, their discipline, and of course, genetics. An underrated bodybuilder with unbelievable arms. When Phil flexed, jaws dropped. Philip Hill. His biceps were not just big, they were downright massive. The kind that made Arnold's look like mere appetizers. Arnold was great, no doubt, but there were a lot of impressive physiques that could make your jaw drop. When it comes to sheer physical prowess, he is in a league of his own. The size of his arms and the definition of his abs is truly amazing. Thierry Pastel He was the first Mr. Olympia. His genetic gifts were on full display, captivating audiences and inspiring awe wherever he went. Biceps that bulged like mountains and veins that snaked across his arms like rivers. He was amazing. And Larry won the title those first two years, and then came Sergio. The myth. Huge arms. His biceps swelled with an unparalleled mass. Sergio is one of the most gifted genetic bodybuilders there ever was. Huge chest, huge arms. I still can remember these arms coming out of a Hawaiian shirt with a, a split in it in order to, to give him enough room for these huge arms. Sancho Oliver! In order to train as hard as possible, you must retain a clear image of your purpose. 
Once your goal is sharply but realistically defined, all that remains is carrying out your plan. Absolutely essential to do the barbell curl to get to create the thickness of the bicep, to do the dumbbell curl on the inclined bench, and to do the concentration curl. But only with hard work, you can achieve the goals and you can become successful. In order to stimulate muscle growth and achieve results, you have to push your body to absolute failure. You'll never know how good you might have become unless you try. I train hard because for me, to build muscles, you have to use heavy weights. Every time I come out here, I'm 100%. Right. It was definitely the time of phenomenal physiques. In this era, the gym was not just a place for building muscles, but a forge for character. In this era, every bicep peak told a story of relentless determination. So, what separates a professional from the rest? It's huge and phenomenal arms. Yes, genetics undoubtedly play a role. Genetics may set the stage. But only the hard work, the dedication and the sacrifice. This unstoppable mindset pens the script of champions.